Hi, how are you, Andrew? I'm very good, thank you. How are you today? I'm doing great. Excited to talk to you. Well, you know, this series is, I mean, I've only seen the first episode, but it is is—it is mind-blowing. It, it has the, the strengths that you expect to see from a film, uh, but it sets up this episodic journey. I'm curious for you, what did you find were her biggest strengths to play? What was what was interesting about her character? Taylor is really a master of creating these very dynamic characters. I love what he did with Cruz. He created a character that is the ultimate badass. She's very hard on the exterior, but she also is incredibly vulnerable and sensitive. And so getting to explore that range was such a dream come true and getting to do that with your idols is an even bigger dream come true that's the other thing i mean you've had some pretty cool gigs but what's it like stepping on set where you've got zoe saldana and nicole kidman morgan freeman i mean i'm i don't know if you share scenes with all of them but like what was that whole thing like I got to meet all of them i do i share scenes with most of them and it was yeah, like I've worked before, but this is such a level up. Ah, my heart just sank to my stomach. I try not to cry when I talk about it. I'm so thankful. I It was like taking a master class, getting paid to take a master class. They were all so talented, obviously. And, and, and getting able to experience that firsthand is so surreal. There's a scene with Nicole where she gives the speech and she did her thing. And thank God the camera wasn't on me because I started to tear up. I was like, did everyone see that? That was incredible. Um, Same with Zoe. She is one of the most generous, nurturing actors that I have ever worked with. She just kept cheering me on. She elevated my work through her work. It it was just so incredible. And Michael Kelly, I mean, Michael Kelly wrote me the other day. He got to see some episodes and he was very kind to me um, over a text. And I was like, I need to frame this and I'm going to put it up on my wall so that if this is a dream, I'll remember this dream forever. (laughs) That's amazing. I mean, the other side of this is, though, you're playing this intense character that you're required to do a lot of of heavy lifting, both both dramatically, but also like you're you're put through the ringer even just in the first episode. What was preparing for that like? It was hard, <laughs> but I, I was. Bet. It was one of this job has been, I would say, one of the most artistically fulfilling jobs that I've done, and and that's because of Taylor Sheridan's writing. I was terrified of the physical aspect. I was excited about the stars involved and I leaned into that excitement so that I could do my work. But when it came to the physical aspect, that's a little bit less exciting because it it, it hurts and, 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 it, and it's incredibly challenging. Taylor believed in me from day one. When I, when I called him to, to thank him for the part, I, I was so nervous about the physical part. I was like, again, I better start training tomorrow and, you know, learn how to use a gun. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. <laughs> and he was like, you're going to be great. And uh, I, I they trained me at a gym in LA called Unbreakable, where I learned some great hand-to-hand combat and did strength training. I was wrestling Roman by the time I was done there. It was awesome. And then I moved over to set where I was met by the incredible Jared Shaw, who had been a Navy SEAL for nine years and an excellent source for any military questions I had. We did an hour of weapons training, an hour of strength training, and an hour of stunt training with our awesome stunt team. So that was three hours straight, five days a week leading up to the show, but it was awesome because it really made me feel like, you know, like Cruz. And I, I was excited to be there. Do you, can you tell us, like, we, we see a bit of that, you know, uh, we see her vulnerability in the first episode a bit at the beginning, especially, but how does the series progress? I mean, where, where do we find her as we get deeper into this? It gets harder and harder for her. (laughs) That's all I can say. It's, it's it's incredibly 
tough journey for her. She's really good at being a Marine. I'd say she's one of the best at what she does. But what she's learning is how to be an undercover operative. It's her first time. And I think the lines get a little bit blurred when you start to learn about people at a human level. I think it gets really tough to do what you have to do when you see people as humans. Well, so I'll ask you is the show is obviously dark and I've often heard from people that sometimes comedies are the most serious sets and the darker shows and movies are actually the lightest. What, where does this one fall? That's a great question. I'm a jokester. I, every time I arrive to a set, everybody tells me I should do a comedy, but I love, I've only done dramas. I, I don't know. It just is, I guess I, 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 I'm joking the entire time on the more serious scenes. I, I try to just keep my headphones in and stay focused, but that's just because I, I need to stay in the energy in order to be able to do my work. I would say Zoe's the same way. We're like watching TikToks and laughing and talking about creams and then they yell rolling and we're like, you know, <laughs> but, uh, it was, uh, it was, it was a really fun set. It, it really was, especially with the CIA engagement team. We had a really great time together. And we also had a really great time training together with the, with the weapons. Uh, anytime we would do, uh, one of our scenes, La Monica Garrett, who is in 1883, he's incredible. I love he's him. massive. And I'm always behind him because I'm very tall as well. And he'd say, look athletic. And then we, you know, sort of start our scene. So I, I just had the best time working with them. That's amazing. Well, <laughs> thank you so much. I cannot wait to see the rest of the season. And uh, all the best in your pursuit of finding a comedy next. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that one. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> off screen. <laughs> 